shit. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. We're back. 2020. First, first episode. First episode of 2020. Cheers, oh, motherfucker. Cheers. Oh, my God. New decade. Oh, my God. Yep. Charging in head first. Oh, man. We were supposed to. I mean, we really were supposed to have a big kickoff for it on Saturday at Oig's Fest. But Is that, that was, how you pronounce it? Yeah, I think. <laughs> but uh, that was canceled, sadly. Yeah. Uh, Michigan weather due to once a again supposed ice storm. Now, I told the story on here before. Like, what? what they're in the last ice storm. Didn't you like? He, weren't you hearing like branches breaking outside of your? Yeah. Did like a tree fall on your house or something? <laughs> yeah, the last ice storm we had. Like, I was I was asleep, and I wake up at like six in the morning to the sound of like, what? It, it, it may as well have been like like the the ceiling opening up on my house or something like it was it was crazy it was <laughs> but it, all it was was just like the because we have a giant tree that like kind of leans over our yeah. house and stuff like over my room or whatever and yeah just like the weight from it just like crushed everything basically and just like it got to a point where it was so heavy that it just broke and landed on top of the house or whatever like the whole tree not or the whole just tree like a just big a big yeah that's fucking insane. Yeah. So I was like, what the fuck? That is it was the loudest. Fucking insane. Yeah. Wow. And then, and then I think, because we were talking about it, I think the last time there was, it was either last year or two years ago. I think it was last year. Uh, we had that, that show at uh, Max. I think it was with Great American Ghost. They got canceled because of weather. I don't kind remember Kind of the same that. thing. And then it, it huh. got it got rescheduled with uh, that Fit for an Autopsy, which is how we got on that one. Oh, yeah. It okay. was with those two, yeah. No, that's not a bad reschedule. Yeah, yeah, we got a better end of the deal. Yeah, so on that one for sure. <laughs> yeah, I just thought it was funny because it was like, man, like same thing, mm-hmm. almost like pretty much the same time of year. Mm-hmm. Everything else, as far as I know, it was like I, I don't know, it might have been like February. Yeah, February or like you know late January, roughly sure, the same time of year. Yeah, fucking crazy. I'm not. It's so rare that they get canceled from weather. Yeah, you know, I've seen some shows in pretty extreme weather before like <laughs> yeah yeah we were talking about that it's fucking it's crazy um fuck so yeah what have you been up to we haven't really talked much in the last two weeks yeah just a lot of work a lot of work um chilling yeah trying to stay busy with that um we you- uh we got a well New things in the works as far as like bog race stuff. Oh. We're getting a little closer to uh, some some news coming to you. Oh shit! Um, I can't really say anything right now. <laughs> um, just kind of keep your eyes out. It's pretty exciting. I'm excited about it. We're we're getting all of the pieces kind of put together for it. All right. Um, we've I don't know. We've just kind of been busy with all that stuff, trying to wrap up the the new songs and songs production and everything yeah, yeah. Yep. so okay um potential okay. like more more than one video idea but oh, one shit. one that's pretty much finished right now kind of wrapped up oh fuck so hell fucking yeah it's it's something <laughs> that's awesome it's not it's not quite what you would expect which is kind of cool so you and recorruptor got new videos coming yeah oh that's right i forgot they did one that's awesome yeah lots to be excited about yeah that's really sweet, dude. Hell yeah. Um, beyond that, <laughs> mm, I feel like there's more. I've just been listening to this, just a bunch of crazy stuff, trying yeah, to write like what? more. What have um, you been listening to lately? I'll have to look it up. A lot of black metal, to be honest with you. Well, you were saying earlier the new what Acacia Strain? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah the uh, I yeah, I talked about it on the album of the year. But that was literally the same day it had come out. Yeah. So. And I've yeah I've listened to it way more since then. It's it's like dark. It's it's probably one of my favorite albums that they put out since you know since they've been a band and stuff. And like what's cool about it is you can kind of hear little bits of every like every release they've had. Like even like the first like early stuff as far as vocally. And that's I guess that's the biggest thing is. He's doing so much more like different vocally than he's ever done, which makes it really exciting. Yeah. And it's a whole big like concept because the I think like the fifth song, well, it's um, it's called "It Comes in Waves," mm-hmm. and that's like a reoccurring lyric in it. Okay. And um, midway through, it's it, it kind of 
it's like like I said, it kind of repeats that, but it's it's kind of like this whole this whole concept of you know just the void, just death, you know that whole kind of thing. And, but it's it's done in a way that's very like like you know almost almost a little more like Doom kind of like there's a lot more like like down tempo kind of groove stuff to it, which is cool. But it's really like you know more more Doom than than what they're normally doing, okay. which is cool. It's a little different. Cause they, I mean, they kind of touched that on uh, Grave Bloom a little bit, but not to the point where it's like straight like sections of it, you know, that are just like this dark, like brooding feel to it, which is cool. That's um, awesome. Yeah, you should really <clears> check <throat> it out. Fuck yeah, dude. Um, what about uh, you? And then besides that, though, you said you're still pretty much just stuck on what fit for an autopsy. Yeah, a lot of Slipknot. A lot of Die Art. Die Art. That was a lot it, of that, yeah. yeah. I've been going back and listening to a lot of their stuff lately. Hell yeah. I just man, like there's something about Human Target that's just addictive to me. It's a good album. Like it's just there, and it's mostly like the middle part of the record. Mm-hmm. Like after after it's and it's weird that like all the singles or whatever are like the first part of the record. Yeah, because that's probably, I mean, it's it's not to say it's it's my least favorite, but it's like it's songs that like, you know, like I'll I'll start it from the middle and then kind of replay it like through back to the middle. I guess that okay. makes sense. Yeah, like, I know what you're saying. You yeah. know, kind of out of order. I do that with some albums too, actually. Yeah. The same thing. Yeah, I cannot put down the new Death Atlas Kettle Decapitation. I can't fucking. Yeah. I'm completely addicted to that <laughs> shit. Like, it's. I've probably done, sat down and done a lyric listen through, like, in typing notes three times now. Yeah. Three or four times now. Like, I've read the lyrics top to bottom, listened to the album top to bottom, straight through, like, literally just sat down just for that, like, four times at least. <laughs> like it's fucking man I, and i still like uh, yeah it's insane it is insane i've never heard anything like it it's just fucking you going back and listening to the other ones yet or not no not no? yet no because i'm still working on the fucking review for this that's, one like <laughs> yeah that's well and like maybe maybe if you did that it might give you a little different like like yeah. reference point you yeah know, that's true to some of the at least at least the last two yeah. i feel like are worth yeah. Cause no, it, definitely. I'm going to listen to them all, probably. Yeah. I haven't I haven't gone back too far into their discography because a lot of it's, like, their their first couple are, are very, like, grindy. Yeah. Very, like, you know, and I'm, I'm I, I like that stuff, but I like it in, like, short bursts. Fair enough. Like, I wouldn't, Fair I enough. wouldn't, like, I don't know. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. But I need, I need a little more, like, like groove to yeah <laughs> to metal i guess and if it's a whole lot of like just constant blast beats and like you know really fast kind of stuff like i don't know maybe that makes me a bitch i guess but <laughs> i don't know no i'm the same way yeah. i'm the same way i like stuff i can headbang to yeah like that's what it comes down to yeah um man you can headbang to this whole fucking album like, oh my god yeah. it's so good it is so fucking good it's crazy uh shit I really, uh, oh yeah, I went back and kind of dug into uh, uh, the Flesh God record too. Oh yeah, Valino. Valino. Yeah. That's a good one. I like that album. Yeah. Isn't that that's the one with sugar on it, right? Yeah. Push, push, push. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> that is a great track. I'm I'm such a fan of like with the, with the, at least with the last two albums they put out like mm-hmm. the either the instrumental or like this this cool like orchestral stuff. Yeah. Like just version of it that it's all the string arrangements and everything. Oh, and like really? it's a whole yeah. Oh, I think I, I think it's more for King that they did that. Okay. Than for the new one. I think that's just the instrumental. But yeah, it was cool. That's awesome. I like I like a lot of the I don't know, just their uh the way that the vocals are. Just really up front and just kinda you know, a lot more than it was on the last few. Mm-hmm. I don't know. And I feel like like musically it's it's all like like nothing is nothing is really like fighting for your attention half the time if you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Like it's all very you know kind of upfront or like you know each each instrument has its own kind of time with every song. So yeah. it's cool. Yeah. I don't know. <clears throat> Shit. Oh man. I mean, yeah, I don't know. It's weird. We're at a weird point. Like I feel like right at this point last year, a lot more stuff had been like released, like or announced in yeah. terms of like dates and stuff that yeah. of release dates. Like there's a lot. Of albums supposed to be coming out in the sp- like relatively soon, and not none of them have release dates yet. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like besides Ozzy's, but Which, there's like they got the 
was yeah, the new Ozzy song is outstanding with Elton John. Yeah. Which I wouldn't think would be good, but it's it's pretty awesome. It's really good. Yeah. Um fucking but yeah, like supposedly here in the spring we should have new <clears throat> Dahlia, new hate breed. At least both of those at least. Yeah. And then throughout the year, Devil Driver, Lamb of God, like all kinds of stuff. I'm I'm really excited about that new Lamb of God. Oh, I think a lot of people are. Yeah. I'm also pretty uh I don't know. I guess I'll I guess I'll reserve my judgments and my comments until I hear the first song, but like I don't know. There's there's a lot to be excited about, but there's also a lot to be like a little worried about. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I think that's what the way everybody feels right now. Yeah. Um, this is there's definitely this is gonna be a big release for them. Yeah. One way or another. It's gonna it, be a big one. And usually I mean I, I have no doubts that it's like I'm gonna enjoy it anyway, mm-hmm. just because mm-hmm. of you know, I mean the core well <laughs> the, the core members, mm-hmm. like the guitarists and stuff, are still there. So I feel like the music is gonna be like not too different, but it's it's that it's that one piece that's just like Yeah, the new know, drummer is gonna be weird. Yeah. It's crazy to me. It, like can you know and I guess I guess it was the same feelings I had when when I found out that Joey Jordison wasn't playing with Slipknot anymore. Yeah. It's yeah. that kind of thing like you know cuz he has such a distinct style and even like even the first couple of records are so different from what they're doing now but yeah. I feel like the evolution of just their sound and everything is like it makes sense for them to you know and I've mostly mostly from this album I really kind of changed my tone about and just finding out more about, you know, Jay as a, um, you know, just as a drummer and, like, the history behind him and stuff was, you know, is cool. Yeah. So. <sighs> so yeah. It's going to be interesting. <laughs> but I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it either way. Yeah, man. Lots of good potential stuff coming. Lots of fucking crazy shit coming, too. What I'm what I'm more excited about is is the, the surprise element of things. Because there's a lot with with not having too much information about certain like or or just like other bands putting out uh I don't know like saying that they're working on stuff like mm-hmm. it's it's the ones that that just like randomly like you know either like a week before or like later on in the year you know just, just drop something yeah like that's that's what I'm excited about because I haven't really other than like the core ones that we talked about I haven't really heard of any others that have been no. like you know. Yeah. So I wonder I wonder if there's any like secret, you know. Yeah. I mean, who knows? Could be. <laughs> Very well could be. I I want to try to get into some newer like newer bands this year. Yeah. That's kind of my thing cuz yeah. I feel like, you know, like as, newer in terms of it's a new band or just new to you. A little of both, really. Okay. Trying to get into some other stuff that I wouldn't otherwise listen to. Yeah. And and also trying to get into some other like newer stuff. Hell yeah. You know? That's real. Because I feel like the last few years I kind of stayed with the same kind of, you know, like the same, I mean, but, you know, I, I know I know what I enjoy and yeah. I just kind of stick to that. Yeah. And I feel like to a point I'm kind of missing out on a lot of stuff. You want to you know? expand the horizons a little bit? A little bit, yeah. Hell yeah. Try to get into some more like, you know, doomy stuff. I haven't, I haven't really got into like any, any real like, like good thrash metal in a while yeah that's kind of it because like to me i don't know and it it sucks to say it but like a lot of it after a while is kind of like one-dimensional you know that was something i really liked actually about the new cannabis corpse record is how how much how how like they did a really good job in the writing of the music on that record because they did a good job of like marrying death metal and thrash metal yeah because like the guitar to me constantly sounded like thrashy or groovy yeah in this death metal way and it was fucking awesome yeah really good album i was um i like i mean anything anything that has like blackened elements to it to me uh-huh. is really cool um and i like um like i i want to find more bands like i don't know like warbringer like skeleton witch like yeah. early skeleton witch you know what i mean that like that real aggressive like dark fucking kind of like you know yeah. stuff that just kind of like i don't know like that I mean, you know what I'm talking about that just, you know, the tone evil. of it is just, yeah. <laughs> Sounds evil. It just has that, you know. Mm-hmm. So. 
kind of been looking out for that a lot. Oh, yeah. But I've also, like, I don't know, kind of going back to some stuff, like some, you know, different, like, death metal stuff. I feel like I've kind of missed out on a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I don't know. Just interested to see where this year goes because I feel like it's, it's, <laughs> it's a wild west, really. Yeah. Like, anything could happen. Yeah. Like, the, it, it's going to be a big year for metal. Yeah. For sure, but it's still going to be crazy. Yeah. I don't know. I don't I don't know if I mean it's entirely too early to say this and with confidence but I I don't know if it's going to be as strong of a year as last year or even last two years cuz last two years has been real strong. Yeah. <laughs> like everybody who's anybody has put something out within the last two years. Yeah. And people have been coming back. Yeah. Like people that haven't released shit in like 20 years have been releasing shit like Yeah. Like who all kinds. Who knew that, you know, and hell followed with was coming back next year last yeah. year and like you know just like the comebacks and stuff are cool. yeah yeah that fucking new priest record yeah yeah that one that's a good example like yeah new slipknot yeah insane insane aaron <laughs> what the fuck is going on it's awesome though yeah it really is awesome good time to be alive and in the metal <laughs> scene that's for sure Fuck. So, um, yeah. What have you? Uh, what do you got going on on Saturday? I don't know. Probably just working and stuff. Just hanging out. Uh huh. <laughs> the usual. Uh huh. I'm I'm under the impression that that something is happening. I'm well, unaware of. Yeah. <laughs> because yeah, yeah, yeah. Something is happening. We have recently been given the opportunity a friend of mine someone who i would have never ever imagined this happening um you know i got a buddy uh and i see him every once in a while and like a couple months back he told me that yeah no a friend of mine has like a house it's like on a big piece of land like it's really nice fucking and uh, she's not going to live in it anymore, so she's going to rent it to me for, like, a really awesome price. It's going to be a sweet deal, all this. And I was like, fuck, dude, we'll fucking have a, have a fucking bonfire or something whenever you move in. We'll all come out and party. And uh, he's like, fuck, yeah, you know, all down and everything. And then I see him, like, early December, like, first couple of weeks of December or something. And I'm like, hey, man, how's the fucking house? He goes, oh, I'm not living there anymore. He's like, why? I was like, why? He's like, it's fucking haunted. I was like, What? He's like, yeah, no, dude, it's seriously fucking haunted. And I can't, like, my kid doesn't want to go there, so I can't live there. And fuck that place. I'm like, wait, what? He's like, yeah, I'm, like, moving out, like, soon. I'm like, when? He's like, uh, I don't know, I'm probably going to tell her, like, at the end of this month. And then, so probably, like, I probably have to have my stuff out by the end of January or something. I was like, well, fuck. I think we could uh, come take a look. And he's like, yeah, absolutely. And, like, him and I have been going back and forth. And he's been telling me all the fucking things that have been happening. Like, and, yeah, like, it's it sounds pretty wild. That's for sure. Oh. So I think me me and Josh are definitely going to go out there. We're going to bring some equipment. I think I'm going to bring this podcast equipment and literally do a podcast inside of the haunted house. Because, like, ultimately, this oh. is a giant voice recorder. Yeah. Like, the, that's all it is. Oh. So, like... It could pick stuff up, you know what I mean? Potentially. That's cool. Like, that's my theory, at least. Yeah. So, huh. yeah, that's the plan. And, I'm, yeah, it'd be sweet. To do, maybe we'll do a podcast in there. Maybe we'll get some uh, video footage we can post up on the YouTube page and everything. You know, try, try to do something with it, you know. Where is this at? It's I mean, well, out, I don't know. If- I, I could say it's out near-ish. The closest thing to it is Flint, put mm. it that way. But it's not in Flint, and it's pretty far out from Flint. Mm. But Flint's the closest thing to it. It's like out in the middle of fucking nowhere. So yeah, yeah, it's huh. like an old farmhouse. Yeah, and apparently there's an a, a, a well, according to the former the person that moved out, she said that there's just a, this old guy that lives there like, as a ghost and. There's a fucking, uh, but Ben said, my buddy said he fucking heard like little kids, 
like what sounded like a little kid in there and i was like oh that's not good <laughs> that's not good not a good sign but yeah i guess he like had like a bluetooth speaker on or something like that and a fucking voice came over it and said uh this is my house and then it went back to playing what he had on what the fuck yeah like crazy, <laughs> some pretty crazy shit's been happening, yeah. I guess. So, to enough to the point where, I mean, this is a guy, this is a guy who has experienced very scary real life situations. Like, he doesn't need ghosts. You know what I mean? Like, he doesn't, yeah. that shouldn't be a thing unless it's fucking needs to be a thing. And apparently it is. So, for it to be coming from him, like, really blows my mind. That's, yeah. Like, it really, I was like, huh. I'm sorry, your house is what? Like, <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to go check it out. I'm looking forward to it. Should be a good time. It's been a while since we've done one of these. And this is like totally came up out of nowhere, short notice, like yeah. boom, boom, boom. You know what I mean? Uh, well, a few days to stew on it. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm interested. I will say that. <laughs> and this isn't like, you know, this isn't one of these. You know, fucking like tours that we go to, they're all set up and everything. And this is fucking like just us, yeah. like going in. <laughs> ben, my buddy, will probably be with us, but yeah. And I think Preston is gonna come. Uh, but yeah, it'll be. <laughs> <laughs> you don't, you don't sound too sure about it, which makes me kind of skeptic, like nervous. I guess. Well, no, I just, <laughs> I, I just think, I, I you know. It's interesting. Yeah. Well, I mean, if it kind of sounds like if if anything, like any place is going to give you some results on it, like or it'd be just something like any this. feedback, it'd be yeah. Yeah. You know, it'd be you know, it's going to be something. It's going to be nothing. Yeah. You know, that's what it's going to come down to. So, fingers crossed that it's something at least. That'd be cool. Actually, like have an experience. Yeah. Interesting. That's that's something else that like. I'm kind of thinking about like just some new weird life experiences happening this <laughs> year. I guess I don't know. <laughs> Going on a ghost hunt. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. Like, what's what's more, you know, what gives you a different perspective aside from you know? Yeah. It's. I mean. Especially if you actually get something, it's like, what the fuck? Yeah. Like, how did this thing happen that I cannot explain? Mm. Cause I like my my whole life I've never I've never not thought that like other things exist like you know like I've always kind of believed that there's something else out like there has to be right you know what I mean I don't know <laughs> well that's, the thing. that's yeah that's me I guess but you know just that's you, the thing with me though see there there you go right there that's the perspective you're coming from I'm coming from the perspective of. I want there to be, yeah. but every single shred of empirical evidence that we have says that there isn't. Yeah. But yet, there's all this non-empirical evidence that says there could be. Yeah. So, you know, it's a mystery, and it's one that that's that's where I'm coming from. To it, like I I go into these places thinking it's equal it's 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 schrodinger's cat it's equally 100 percent real equally zero percent real it's completely equal either way when i walk in and yeah. that and even after all the other places i've been and the few things i have seen i'm still that's where i'm still at so yeah that's, yeah. that's why i keep going just f until i finally see something where i go Nope. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, um, what the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to dip out now. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, until I get something like that, Yeah. then, yeah, then I'm, you know, I'm interested. I want to believe enough to keep checking these places out, at least. Oh, it's that. It's that curiosity. Yeah. You know? Yep. And maybe that's, like... I don't know. I don't know what it is exactly that like makes me just not want to do it. Like, because I know, I know that we've talked about it before, and I, I know that like you know, there've been multiple opportunities for me to do this. I just like I can't, and that like yeah, I feel like you kind of said it. Like I'm, I feel like I like when I get into it, like I'm expecting to see something, right? And maybe that's what's like 
You know, I just can't. I, I got to somehow, like, block that out and like, be like. You got to get out of your own head about it. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't know how to, like, do that. Like, I mean, suspend my, you know. It's, but it's also, like. I think in a I think I think in a big bad way it's like once you walk into a place that looks like stereotypical haunted place like everything looks really creepy everything's all fucked up you know what I mean yeah once you're actually standing in that in a place like that and you just feel completely normal like you don't feel anything mm. you're just like oh this is just a room you know it doesn't matter what the fucking walls look like or floor looks like you know what I mean like it's just yeah just because something looks the part doesn't mean it's gonna and i think once you do that yeah it kind of like breaks that a little bit it's like oh i mean yeah they say stuff happens but will it when i'm there yeah eh, we'll see yeah. <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah and maybe that's the other thing too is i've gone to enough of these places and like some things have happened but nothing crazy so it's all so you know what i mean so yeah it's uh, a couple i mean kind of crazy things but you know um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to that. It'll be, uh, it'll be interesting for sure. And it'll be fun to like, cause I guess the other kind of crazy part is like places out in this area are weird. Like Preston, the house Preston grew up in, which isn't that close to this. It's pretty far away from it actually, but regardless, the house we're going to is very near to a graveyard and Preston, the house he grew up in was across the street from a graveyard mm. and his house was haunted as fuck. Like his dad is someone who doesn't believe in any of that stuff and had like said he heard something one day and was like, if you're here, you know, he's like, he said something like, if you're here, let me know you're here or something like that. And he said he heard footsteps come up right on his left and then, like, three really loud, like, boom, 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 like, as if someone was literally, like, jumping up and down on the floor right next to him that he couldn't see. Damn. And he was like, it shook the whole fucking house. Wow. It's crazy. Um, when was that? That must have been oh, a long this was, time ago. Oh, yeah, yeah. this was a uh, long, long time ago. Sometime probably in between 2000 and 2007 or eight. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, I don't know. It's just interesting. You never know. Yeah. You never know. I, I'm, I'm interested to see if that kind of a thing had happened to me, then I'd be like, all right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> something, something's going on. Yeah. Um, do you ever like, to me, I'm, I'm always kind of wondering about like the after like, like, have you ever, you ever left somewhere after, you know, like being, being in a spot like that, um, and, and felt like, like uneasy, I guess, or felt like, you know, like had the, had that thought of like something was like, I don't know, maybe I'm just being weird, I guess. No, no, <laughs> like, no. like I'm cause all right, let me, let me back up, I guess, kind of make more sense. I'm always wondering like. Should should something happen, like you know, you see something or whatever, you're somewhere that like is is legit, and you leave, and like, what is the potential that like something like follows you or something, like something leaves with you? You know what I mean? I yeah, feel- I I I've in all the places I've been, I've never. See, that's the crazy part. Like, in all the places I've been. In one of these places literally includes an abandoned insane asylum where the paint was peeling off the walls and all the fucking stuff you'd see on TV, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, every single one of those places, I never ever once felt nervous or scared or uneasy about anything while I was there. Mm. So leaving, no, I didn't feel anything like that at all. Um <clears throat> Yeah. So I I don't know. I've heard reports of things like that happening, especially if you're dealing with something especially negative. Yeah. Um but yeah, I've I've never you know had the experience to where I walk into a room and feel like, you know, scared about anything. Yeah. So. Hmm. Yeah. 
<laughs> I would say the odds are small. Yeah, that's like, and that's to me, that's it's just kind of my mind just being like, I've heard of it happening yeah. though. No, I get it. And or like taking things from and movies no, dude, and shit. Like, no, and that's <laughs> not even necessarily. There's actual accounts of stuff, and there's, uh, and not only that, but you are pretty much the only one of like. Mm, well, yeah, I guess Preston and Josh are pretty much the only people that I do know that would ever do stuff like this with me. Mm. Like, you're not the weird one. <laughs> we are. Like, all, everybody else thinks we're fucking crazy. Jordan thinks I'm an idiot. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't. So, I don't know so much as if because I like. <laughs> I don't know. Like I've. I, I'm. I'm curious. I've always been interested. But I could, and like I never, I never thought that it was weird. Like I've always thought that like it was just interesting to me, like the fact that you can go somewhere and like have these things, you know, potentially, potentially happen. Yeah. yeah, or like be somewhere where these, you know, like a murder happened, or like you know, in a, like in a, I because to me one of the scarier things that I've ever found is like like the that asylum you're talking about. Mm -hmm. There's something about that that just like scares the fuck out of me <laughs> like i i have a hard time with like you know or like old prisons or like just weird like i don't know it's just it just i've never i don't know <laughs> i'm rambling i guess but it's funny because the next two places i want to go is this called the stinson <laughs> hospital and the ohio state reformal yeah. <laughs> so oh, yeah. prison in a hospital hospital yeah dude i uh, -uh. Oh, I, I go to both those really bad i don't i don't like hospitals in general like <laughs> to go to one that's like that is like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I want to go. I want to go there. I want them to lock me in, <laughs> and I want to sleep in the basement. You know, what I mean? yeah. you'll end up uh, like grave encounters, shit. Like <laughs> <laughs> it's such a good movie, dude. It is. Yeah. Shout out to Grave Encounters. Holy fuck, that's a throwback. Yeah. But that's like it, maybe it's maybe it's like all the movies and shit that I've seen that like puts these images in my head that like this is exactly what it is. Like, yeah, no, none of that happens. You know, yeah, none of it. Like it's like and, it's so tame compared yeah. to all of that. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's literally as tame as what we're doing right now. Yeah. <laughs> like, I feel like it's, it, it, I, honestly, it's more boring. <laughs> Than not like yeah. cause a lot of time you're just sitting alone in the dark waiting for something to happen. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's that's what most of it is. Yeah, so I don't know. I I feel like I need to just like find a way to just like set all that aside, just for just for a little bit and just honestly, I think. Uh, let's see. Those ones are those. Maybe we go to. Maybe we see if they got any uh, tours down at Fort Wayne this summer. Because uh, those aren't, like, overnight tours. Those are, like, from, like, 8 to 10 kind yeah. of a thing. Um, but it's a lot of fun. You learn a lot of history, and you see a lot of cool shit. And we actually, both times I've been, I have had an experience. Mm. Um, but that, I feel like you go do that, you go to a place like that, and you'll really, like, it'll... It'll shatter the glass a little bit for you. You'll be like, "Oh, okay, yeah, this this is not okay. And Let's that, do more." Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's that's it. Part of it too, you know. Like I've never having never even like you know tried like the you know like the smaller. I guess like I don't know. I don't know if there's a way to like baby step into this, but like well, that's the other thing too. <laughs> ease into it, I guess. And oh yeah, um, but they. I would say I would say the easiest. For, for here in Michigan, for someone who wants to get into it but it's a little hesitant, I would say that place is a great starter place. And then the first overnight one you should do is the uh, the USS Edson that's docked out in Bay City. Because that, you just, they give you the tour, and then you're like, they're like, go. And you can just, you have complete free roam of a fucking Vietnam battleship. Damn. You can go down every manhole through every doorway. You can go in any room. Like you can do what you complete free access to every single part of the ship. You can do whatever you want. So hmm. 
that's just fun. Yeah. Like, take out the ghosts. <laughs> that's just kind of worth price of admission alone. Yeah. Just to be able to kind of like run around, duck down a manhole cover. <laughs> like, you got to be careful because you're gonna hit your head on everything. Like, it's fucking. That's it. Was just fun. So, I would say those two are definitely the best fun starter ones for sure. Yeah. Fort Wayne, something might actually happen. I don't. We didn't have anything happen when we were at the Edson, but. It was. I want to go back. It was still a really good time. Mm. So I don't know. Hit me again, Captain. All right. <laughs> I, uh, you beat me. Catch up. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Oh well, I don't know. No, go ahead. Go, 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 go. Well, I was. I was just gonna say. Um, for anybody that was paying attention this week, had some pretty devastating news. Um. Oh my God. And I, I hate we to totally got to talk. About this. I, I hate to to bring it down to this level, but it's it's the reality of the situation. And if, I mean, this is part of your podcast too, and you're a goddamn drummer. Yeah. <laughs> so like, I, take it away. We we lost another one this week, mm. um, and it was somebody that to me, you know, he, like there there is no replacement. There is no like. There, there's never gonna be another person like you know of of this degree that changed, you know, rock music, prog music in general, and just like influenced so many, you know, my myself included, maybe not directly, but I mean, you can't you can't be a drummer and not know who you know Neil Peart is. Yeah. So with that, he's yeah he's fucking like one of the irreplaceables, yeah. one of the never will be agains. He's like the Ozzy. Yeah. He's like Dio. He's like Lemmy. Yeah. Like, oh my god. That was yeah. That was a bummer, man. I didn't like, even know he was sick. Yeah, no, That's I didn't the either. Up part. Yeah. My dad kind of said the same thing. He's like, I, you know, he must have kept that under they, wraps they and stuff. They must have. Yeah. They must have. So yeah, I don't know. I just like, for one, not only is, you know, just. It's just it, it's it's tough to start out the year and and have such a big hit yeah. so early on, you yeah. know. And you know, I'm I admittedly I I didn't listen to as much Rush as some other people, um, but I was at least very familiar with their music, <clears throat> and they are one of the bands that I never had a chance to see live because at the time I wasn't really interested in it, and I never really had the chance to. But after seeing, you know, like the live, you know, concert DVDs and stuff and just the documentary that's out, which is really, I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head. It's, uh, yeah, I have it. Yeah. Because it's a banger TV. It's, yeah. Um, yeah, I can't remember. Rush Chronicles or something? Something like know. that, yeah. But yeah, just after, after watching that and having such a, you know, such a different perspective and such a respect for, for just you know the, them as musicians and like what they've done for you know like you said just rock music and just you know just in general i mean it's you know it, it was tough to tough to see that because not only when i saw it well you i think you were the one that told me first by accident <laughs> yeah because I, I looked at my <laughs> timeline and it was all that was on my my facebook was nothing but that literally yeah. every Everyone I knew, every page I follow, yeah. was posting about it, and I was like, "Well, there's no way Aaron hasn't seen it." I, I was, I was at work. I didn't even look at my phone oh all day, God. and all of a sudden, you were just like, "Man, like you said something like kind of like you want to have a drink yeah. tonight? Hit me up." Yeah, <laughs> I understand. And then you sent me that, and I was like, "I." It was, it was one of those things where, like, I was when you look at it, I was like. I didn't even believe yeah. what I was, I was looking like, at. What? Yeah. Like it didn't even like what? Yeah. Like <laughs> just didn't I couldn't I couldn't piece it together cuz it just it just came out of nowhere really. Yeah. Like it was just such a like you know. Yeah. So God, such a big one. Yeah. So not to not, I never got a chance to see him either. Yeah. I am a pretty big Rush fan though. I I did listen to I have listened to a lot of Oh yeah. I think I have their big double disc best of thing or something like that i don't know but i mean every everybody knows tom sawyer you know yeah working man yeah subdivisions like closer to the heart yeah 
Oh, yeah. Closer to the heart. <laughs> I love it when Bubbles sings that yeah. song. <laughs> oh, so. the, yeah, the Trailer Park Boys were posting, like, tributes and stuff. Yeah. Did you ever see the video that they made of, like, Bubbles trying to make Ricky and Julian redo, like, I think it's the Closer to the Heart video? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. That <laughs> shit awesome. was so funny. Yeah. Oh, my God. His fucking words don't make sense. <laughs> oh, my God. So not not to, you know, derail the... No, we, that I'm glad you brought that up because but, I that was not in my brain at all. I was yeah. going to forget to talk about it. Um, man. Just, I mean, you know... I'm, any, I'm, it, I'm, if, no, go ahead. Uh, it's just if, you know, if you're a fan of just music in general, like rock music and stuff and... More, you know, much, much more than that. Just you know, like drumming. Yeah. Because dude, I like even even when I was like growing up, like when I was little, you know, that was he was like one of the guys that was like, you know, everybody was like, oh, you yep. know, everyone's like, always talking yeah, about him. He's the greatest drummer ever. Yep. Like in in history ever yep. of all time. He's the one. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> It's tough, man. It sucks. Yeah. God damn it. Well, here's to oh, Neil. Yep. Mr. Peart, may you have a drink with Lemmy oh. and Dio and Tom Petty and fucking Bon Scott, <sighs> fucking Randy Rhodes and fucking Cliff Burton. All the legends. Yeah. <laughs> All the legends partying. In what we hope is an afterlife. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we were just talking about, form. oh, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, to the gods, to Odin. Yes. yes. Here we are. Cheers. Well, yeah. Definitely listened to some Rush that day, for, that's for sure. Yep. You know what's kind of crazy, actually, is that that day I was out. Um, working uh in a garage and we had on they they had on uh q106 and i probably the first time i've listened to the radio for more than five seconds <laughs> yeah in years <laughs> bro like years and i was genuinely impressed with the songs like every song was like Oh, I, actually, I like this. One. Oh, I like it. It was like the new Slipknot. Mm. It was the new Ozzy songs, some old Ozzy songs. You know, obviously a little bit of Metallica, fucking some like uh, old Green Day, fucking like, uh, uh, oh, some like Manson and Zombie. You know, I was like, this is like a playlist I would make. <laughs> like, what the? This is actually not like it wasn't. There wasn't anything new that I hadn't heard of that was stupid and ridiculous. Yeah, it was all just p- pretty solid shit. Yeah. Like I was e- like, wow. Every so often, like you just if and it's it's mostly when I either like don't have anything else to listen to or just like you know access to like you know plugging a phone or whatever. Right. Like, every yeah. so often, I'll like just you know search through the radio and sometimes like they'll just get on like this five or six song streak that's mm-hmm. like. All right, it's like hitting. yeah, it's just hitting. <laughs> You're like, oh shit! All right, I was uh, yeah, I was happy to hear the new Slipknot songs yeah. on the radio. That's pretty cool. Um, and you know, I di- I just realized what I didn't hear was any um, new Parkway. I wonder if that stuff's already out of rotation. Could be. Uh, I guess that album was two years old now. Is it? It came out. It didn't come out last year. No, it didn't. 2018. That was the year that we saw him. That was the last year we saw him. That was there because they were on the first album of the year list. Yeah. <sighs> so potentially we got another one from them this year we too. Might. Yeah. I. You know. I. Th- I think I heard a rumor that they were like recording on the bus because they've been touring constantly. Yeah. Uh, and they got that big tour coming up with Hatebreed. I'm so bummed that's not in the states. You never know. That's a, yeah, that's true. It yeah. Might come. I really, yeah, I just want to see them again. I I want to see them again, and I'd love to see, I'd love to see that show. But I also later in the year would want Hatebreed to come back headlining with their new album. Yeah, because I want to see them headline again this year too. Yeah, okay. yeah. This year I'd, I'd really love to see them. I I would love to see Hatebreed headline. I'd love to see Lamb of God headline again somewhere inside. Yeah, I'd love to see Guar. 
Um, yep, they're they're on the list as well. Yeah, there's 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 some. I'd, I'd, you you said earlier I'd like to see Steel Panther too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's definitely some some fucking hitters that I'd like to see uh, this year that I haven't seen. Saw Gore last year, but I really want to see him again. Yeah. Really bad. You know they should have. I'm surprised they haven't had a new album out. That one, that Blood of the Gods, has been out for a little while now. No. That was the year like before we started the podcast, I think that came out, or maybe uh, the same year, and I just didn't realize <laughs> it. But yeah, I'm not sure. I don't follow fucking, them too It's closely. a good album. Yeah. No, oh, dude, it's a fucking good album. You should check it out. Yeah, it's definitely something I feel like a lot of people slept on. Mm. Uh, but it's solid. Uh, I like it a lot. And uh, it'd be cool. Oh yeah, Cannibal's working on a new one. That's yeah. Nobody knows who the guitarist is. I fingers crossed, Rutan. Man, <laughs> I like that was what I was thinking. Fingers crossed, Rutan. Yeah. Because the last time we saw them was the best I've ever heard them. Dude, live, like, insane. That was just mean. It, oh yeah, that's the other show that's been announced besides Carnifex and. Uh, what was the other one? Rod and Christ. Yeah. Uh, that Die Art show. Yeah. With Fit for an Autopsy yeah. and yeah. Extinction AD and uh, Enterprise Earth, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I really want to try to go to that one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I think a lot of people are going to that. I, I definitely want to go to that. Yeah. It's going to be big. Have you ever seen Kiss? I haven't. You should go see Kiss with me. I, yeah. I probably should. Is that DT? It would yeah. just be a fun summer night. Yeah, that's true, yeah. Damn, I think David Lee Roth is opening. What? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Your little Van Halen. <laughs> Damn. Okay, yeah. At, Come at, on and jump, jump. At, at most, that'd be just a cool show. Yeah. Hopefully, you know. I'm not I'm not a big fan of Gene Simmons, just as a whole, and to, like, I don't know. <laughs> well, I just, he, he said some kind of- Careful what you say, because he, inv- he invented podcasting. And talking and breathing, and this is all copyrighted. <laughs> <laughs> That's He's right. got all this copyrighted, so let's just be careful. <laughs> That's true, yeah. I completely forgot about that. <laughs> He's going to come and sue us. <laughs> <laughs> no. But, I'm just like, I don't know. He's just, he says crazy things, but I tell you what, he still puts on the makeup and gets on the high wires in uh, the demon costume uh, I and mean, flies around the crowd. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's dope. Yeah. It's dope. I don't know. I just he he's just said some kind of dumb shit the last few years. Hey, he said rock and roll's dead. Yeah. Guess what? This whole podcast is predicated on that <laughs> not being true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. He's still the demon. <laughs> uh but no, I mean it, you know, it's a it's a fun show. Yeah. It's a fun show. I've only gotten to see the oh, Holy shit. I've only gotten to see them once. And you want to know when that was? It was like 2 or 3 weeks or something like that after I um got pulled over with a little bit of marijuana mm. and got a little bit of trauma. <laughs> and that was the last show of the summer and it became the first show that I went to where I like couldn't smoke or like couldn't drink or do anything. And yeah. So now a little different. It's legal. Bitch. Times times have changed. Times have changed. <laughs> yeah, I do need to see them again then. Shit. Man, it's been that long. That was like two thousand twelve. Yeah. It was the year I graduated. That was the 2012 was the last time I... Or... No, wait. Yeah. 2012. Yeah. 2011? No, it was 2012. Mm. Had to be. Um, Yeah, the, and it was a fucking really good show. Oh, I'm sure they, they put on a great show. Yeah, and they sound great. Yeah. But the only disappointing about that show, they opened with Detroit Rock City. Oh. I was like... Close with that. Yeah. The fuck? Do you know where the fuck you are? <laughs> yeah. You're in the jungle, baby. Like <laughs> wrong band, but okay. <laughs> yeah. Um. But yeah, that'd be a fun one to go see for sure. For sure. Who knows? Maybe we'll get mayhem. 
And then we'll just Maybe. see everybody at once. Yeah. Well. God. You know what I just realized? Let's say Mayhem starts back up this year and like goes for another 10 years or so. You know who will never see at Mayhem again? Children of Bodom. Yeah. There's a lot of bands who won't ever see there again. Yeah. That we saw the first time there. Yeah. Yep. Well. Yeah. Actually, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's true. Have, has Parkway ever played one of those? Yeah, to my knowledge. That'd be a good one for it. I, I could see them like second, like opener, or not opener, like main stage. I'd like to see them on a side stage. That yeah. Yeah. I don't have there, them headline a side stage. Have Hatebreed to headline the other side stage. And <laughs> all right, we're gonna do this. And all right, on Hatebreed stage, we got in direct support of them. We got. Devil Driver, um, we got uh, uh, Dahlia. Ooh, um, yeah. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Oh wait, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, no, that's good. That's good. Uh, Dahlia. Um, come on. Uh, before them, we got shit, 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 shit. Uh, we'll come back to that. <laughs> Parkway Drive stage is we got them headlining. Direct support of them would be Thy Otter's Murder. Direct support for them might as well be fit for an autopsy. Yeah. Oh, before I don't know. So on back on the other stage, we got <laughs> fucking uh, Hate Breed. What did I say? Devil Driver. Then I want fucking Carnifex. Then Dahlia. Ooh. All right. I can see that. All right. That's yeah. that's over there. Yeah. And then we got back over here. We got Parkway, Thy Art, Fit, and come on. What's another one, Aaron? Another hitter. Um, another hitter. Cat. Mm. Nah. Who like similar? No, similar I don't care. to could be fucking see. Steel Panther. I don't care. Tenacious D. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> Cannabis Corpse. Uh, either them or uh, where's that other one? Um, I just saw him. Whitechapel. Whitechapel. Oh fuck yes, 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 yeah. yes, 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 yes. Whitechapel, absolutely. Even though I like to me, they're they're kind of a main stage band now. But I want to see them. Yeah, these are just the people I want to see on the side stage. Man, why why isn't there like a like a old school new school festival? You know what I mean? Like like you got and I'm just like spitballing here. Oh my I just God. started thinking about this as we were talking about it. But like Aaron, like f- like. You know, you got yeah. it's and it's. I'm talking like old school, like like parking lots, like you know what I mean, like like you got one stage that's like the modern. Like, oh, you know what I mean. My God, <laughs> you have a traveling parking lot festival yeah. with two stages. That's it, and just back and forth. Like there's no headliner. There's no like. It's just the best. Like. The best five or six on each stage. Call it the battle of the gods. Something like that, yeah. Oh shit! Why? Why isn't that a thing? Who do we gotta talk to to get that? To Who be a thing? do we gotta <laughs> fucking talk to? Because then, like you know, I mean, if if you got that, like you can, you can. I mean, fuck, even put like, I don't know, like ten bands on each. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. You know, but have like, you know, I mean, because then then you open it up to possibilities, you know endless like you know you got i mean how how like insane would it be to have like i don't know like d snyder on one stage and then like 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 fucking i don't know so card effects on the all, other one and then all metal yeah every yeah. subcategory and so but what here's here's an issue though is cannibal corpse old school or new school both I yeah, exactly <laughs> i don't know where would they fit there's a lot of bands you could say about that you could put on there yeah you, know? you could almost like, you're getting to the point where you could say that about lamb of god yeah but or if, or just i mean well 
Well, I, I feel like I feel like you'd at least have to have one like headliner on each day. Yeah, absolutely. Me, you know, what would be the old school headliner? Who would headline a festival like this? A traveling one too. Like I'd love to say like Iron Maiden, but uh, I don't know if they would. Well, I mean, it's all hypothetical. <laughs> I don't know if this would ever happen. I mean, you never know, but, um, man. I mean, Maiden would be a pretty good contender. Yeah. If you did like a. I almost want to say Metallica, but that's, no. that's, that's, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's a little hanging fruit. That's not. I want to say Maiden with Priest. Man, I really, shit. I, I, I do oh maiden priest anthrax um yeah i think you have that those would be solid headliners ozzy god damn it uh, well then that's just oz fest <laughs> that's what it is <laughs> if, I, if ozzy headlines that's just oz fest that's like <laughs> when you're right, you're right. That's, <laughs> I think that's the answer. I think at the end of the day, we just created we... <laughs> Ozfest, and not, I, well, that's what we need. Not well. I mean, yes so and who no. Who are you gonna put on the new school stage, Slipknot, with Lamb of God? Uh, well, I mean, makes sense. Yeah, makes the most sense. So yeah, it's basically <laughs> I mean, Ozfest. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we just made Ozfest. I guess so. Like, well, uh, like yes and no. I don't know. I mean, who's? I'm trying to think of some others. I just like, like the idea of a traveling parking lot thing. That's like there. That's that's old school, man. Yeah. Like there is a you know like everywhere you go, it's like seats. Like, yeah. Fuck all that. Stay, you know, and like to a point, like I get it, like it, you know, it makes it makes shows like more accessible to other people that don't want to be there. But at the same time, like, you know, you know what? Like what? You know what? Know. Here's my thing: is the people that could afford those seats are the people that got to like see these people up close already in their prime. Yeah. Like let us kids get a <laughs> fucking shot. Yeah. And <laughs> they're all old. Uh, who knows though. I feel like there already was like a Clash of the Titans, like that was like a a tour name. But I feel oh, like yeah. that would be good. That, that was, was the big. That was yeah. a huge, huge, huge tour. Yeah, I think that's the one where it was like, <sighs> shit. I'm gonna look this up. Yeah. Uh, I think that's the one with like Alice in Chains, but like every everybody else was a thrash band. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it was like. Megadeth, yeah, Slayer, and I think yeah, and then wasn't uh, I want to say Pantera. Or something? Oh okay. I don't think that's right though. Oh wait, no, here we go. Slayer, Megadeth, Suicidal. Ow. <laughs> Suicidal tendencies. Wait a minute, this isn't. Maybe this isn't the right one. Clash of the Titans. Oh, yeah, there's a bunch of them. Uh, hold on. I think I think Megadeth would be a pretty pretty decent, can, you know, spot for... Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's also weird that, like, in having these type of conversations, you can't include Slayer. Yeah, it was like Megadeth, Slayer, Anthrax, and Alice in Chains yeah. or something like that. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, now we can't fucking have Slayer because they're done. Which is like, I don't know. I kept wanting to say Motorhead just now. And I kept having to go, nope. Fuck. Yeah. No more Motorhead either. Yeah. It sucks. <laughs> We've lost some great ones. That's why we got to see everyone we can when you can. That's why it's very important. Very important. At least to me. Especially Ozzy. Yeah. My God. Uh, man, like the last the last few songs he's put out of the new ones have been solid. I like them. Yeah. 
it and it's it's the music like it's it's the audio nerd in me that then that's the reason i'm i'm saying this and maybe it's this genuine i don't know but like the only thing that bothers me is like sonically how much how much auto-tune is kind of on ozzy's voice i'm worried about that too. and the new stuff like, i feel like there's a lot of effects on his voice yeah that makes me <laughs> real worried yeah I mean, you know, like to to a point, I get it, I understand that, and like, you know, for for the product and for what he's trying to do, as far as like still can, you know, I mean, I I have nothing but like the utmost respect. At the same time, though, all the fucking shit is just being used to make him sound more like it's, him. It's yeah, it's just enhancing. Yeah. yeah, which I don't, you know, I don't have a problem with. I just think that it's. At, at, at times, it's a little jarring. Mostly, yeah. like I don't know. Yeah. Because it's 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 very like clear. It's very like defined and stuff. And like mm-hmm. there are some points where you can hear it more than others. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't like if 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 the music weren't still on par with with the vocals like over top of it, I feel like I'd have more of a problem with it. But it all kind of makes sense. Like it it sounds it sounds like modernized Ozzy to me. Yeah, which is cool because it's yeah. it's you know it's something that you can have to like sort of reference back to like older stuff, but also still have that same thing that you know made it what it was. You right. know, made it like his style and his sound and stuff. Yeah. Um. But at the same time, like I said, it's a little like you know, I don't know. <laughs> Throws you off sometimes. Yeah. But I guess you know. I mean. How how else are you gonna have somebody you know his age, after all this time, you know still sound great on record? Like you gotta kind of, yeah. or or even just live still, you know. I that does sound good live. Yeah. So which is crazy. Yeah, I don't know. I like I'm not I'm not trying to like talk shit or hate on it. I'm just saying no. like you know there's it's just something I noticed off of it that's kind of like yeah. you know. Yeah. I like them a lot, and I, I look forward to hearing the whole album top to bottom. Yeah. I really do. Because I think it's, like, and we were kind of talking about it earlier, it's, yeah, I think it's the most honest he's been in a while. Yeah, these, these lyrics are really kind of yeah. pretty crazy. A lot of it has to do with, you know, mortality and, mm-hmm. you know, I mean, and it's it's kind of scaring me every day just looking at because, like, there's certain things, like, articles that have come up, like, you know, we were talking about, like, They're you know, fake, though. Yeah. They're bullshit. But it's still, like, you know, there there's still ones but floating around. But scare me. Yeah. There's still ones floating around about, like, his health and stuff and, like, you know, quotes from, like, Sharon and stuff and... Yeah. You know. I don't know. It's just... It's like... <laughs> fuck. Just lost like, Neil. Yeah, man, like... They say these things come in threes. <laughs> yeah. So. Ah, damn it! <laughs> now I'm worried again. Yeah. <laughs> no. But you know, I mean, at at least you know we'll we'll have we'll have a new album from him out this year. I've said Should for cool. you, dude. I remember the day Dio died. I remember how I found out. I remember where I was. Everything. Yeah. And I I think I said to Preston that day. I was like, dude, the day Ozzy dies is gonna be a dark dark i'm just going to go into a room turn out all the lights bring all the booze and weed i can find <laughs> and turn on ozzy light some candles and see what happens because that's all i'm going to be able to do yeah oh my god <laughs> i can't even i can't i can't fathom that yeah the world without the prince of darkness what is that <laughs> i don't know what that looks like yeah I don't know what that. Literally, I don't. It's uh, he has been alive the entire time I've been alive. Yeah, I don't know what that looks like. <laughs> well, same thing with you know, same thing with Lemmy. Yeah. To a point. Yeah. Maybe not. To, as, to definitely. Yeah, definitely. Maybe not as direct for me, at least personally, just because I didn't get an overhead until way later. Same. same. And I and I the weird but I part is loved Lemmy. Yeah. Even even if I wasn't like back in the day when I wasn't that into Motorhead, I always fucking loved like let me and i always liked ace of spades i mean everybody yeah. knew that song forever yeah but like i never do- dove deeper until much more recently honestly yeah. i watched that lemmy documentary it was really good yeah good shit yeah 
are we fucking talking about? <laughs> well, because well, we got on talking about the 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 kind of festival idea that just turned into Ozfest, oh, and yeah. then, <laughs> which I'm still trying to piece together in my head as we're talking about this <laughs> stuff. Like, I just feel like there's somebody, there's some like at least a few that were missing, without question. You know, with that, there's tons of missing. Yeah, for sure. And ton, you know what? Uh, no, that's <laughs> that's gonna be a whole. That could be a whole another episode, where we could, if we could, literally make an Ozfest, three stages. Yeah, three stages, and it could be any bands you want, any lineup you want, dead or alive. <laughs> <laughs> we do. How much time we got? We do yeah, this now. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> No way we can get into that now. Man, yeah. there is no way. <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah. What that would take. And I feel like we've already kind of done that a couple of times. Yeah, pretty close. <laughs> yeah. Pretty close. Not dead or alive though. Not yeah. like any. Not like we've never been like Cliff Burton, Metallica, Randy Rose, Ozzy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like. So. But that would be fun to yeah. do. That would be a fun one. <laughs> <laughs> God, that'd be intense, though. That'd be. It'd be uh possible. It pro- you know what would happen? It would turn into a two day festival. Be, <laughs> yeah, just be Woodstock. Yeah, like. <laughs> it'd be, but we'd make it tour anyway. Oh, yeah. Two day touring festival, never been done. Yeah. Oh my God! Can you imagine? Out that? outside of like like Not Fest. I remember the first Not Fest year was insane. Well, they didn't tour that though, the two no. day part. Yeah, right. They did end up touring not fest. Yeah. When it came here, it was only five bands, not two days. Yeah, which <laughs> is fine. It was good. It was a good show. And I, I almost had the chance to go to the first not fest. Like really? Yeah. Wow. But I, I have no idea what happened. To be honest, I think it sold didn't out. Did like Sisto go? Yeah. Wow. That was how I was gonna go. Oh shit! But it was just I don't know. One thing, I don't know. It was such a long time ago, I don't even remember what happened. Yeah. But, yeah. That would have been crazy. Yeah. I think Lamb of God played that, that year. Was, yeah, that was the, that the year same. year Randy came yep. back? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, he was telling me all about that. I was like, dude. Fuck. Like, Fuck. Just imagine, imagine the violence. Like, mm. <laughs> the pit, man. Like, just the crowds. If they played fucking, uh, I think I think he told me I could be wrong about this, but I think he told me they open with "Walk with Me in Hell." Jesus Christ! <laughs> Which is like, I mean, if you're gonna come back, you may as well like <laughs> open. Yeah, with "Walk with Me in Hell." I'm I'm sure the there's balls. video of this. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's that's ignorant. Oh that's, my god, that is straight like. Like your move, you know. Yeah, no. That's, <laughs> I hope nobody's coming on after us because yeah. we're about to fuck this place yeah. up. And that was that was a festival for Slipknot too. Yeah. Like that is like putting it all on the table. Yeah. Like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But at the same time, at a festival for Slipknot in Iowa. Oh yeah. If you don't bring it like oh, that, yeah. if it's, you can, yeah. You know, if you're Devil Driver and you don't open with fucking. End of the line. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? If you're, yeah, if you're Lamb God and don't open with Walk With Me in Hell or even fucking, uh, I mean, uh, considering the situation, had they opened with Omerta, that would have made sense too. Yeah. Whoever appeals to the law. Oh, he man. He came yeah. out with that <laughs> first show out of prison. <laughs> Damn. That would have been insane. Yeah. Oh, dude, I still, I still remember the first time we saw him after all that happened. Yeah, me too. Like, the, the chills. Yeah. And just the, the energy in the room for that was so real. That like, and like, wasn't it? It was, it was the Desolation tour, wasn't it? Or the, the no, the Resolution. Resolution. Yeah. But they opened with that weird like, and that, like it was, it was during yeah. the winter, and they played that thing that like, there was like this big avalanche that happened. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, that was the resolution tour. Yeah, because that was the one with the song was Six Bars Laid Across yeah. the Sky. Uh, and King Me. God, yeah. that song. I need to go back and listen to that album. Are we going to do an album of the decade list? <laughs> Is it resolution? Or ra- wait, no. Well, no, because nah. Cause then Wrath that, is 09. That's true, yeah. 
So it wouldn't be yeah. in the decade. No, because then you got to then you got to put into account all of the. Or die would hard. it? Well, because 2010 to 2000 to now is not 10 full years. You know what I mean? Well, 2010 to January 1st, 2020. That's not 10 full years, is it? It's only nine, isn't it? I, well, I guess it depends on how you look at it. Like if if you look at it like the end of the end of like the, you know, the 10, well, the official like 10 years. Would be like the end of this year, right? But because it hasn't and officially if they been come out with another album, then why did everybody do a decade list? Where did they start counting from? A lot of the ones I've seen have been from 2009 to 2019. What? I think I what? I've I've seen ones that have been like that. I don't because well because you can't really you can't really count 2020 yet. Yeah, no, I know that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I didn't think about this until just now. For some <laughs> yeah. So it would be like January for Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. Then no question. Wrath is my album. Of the <laughs> yeah. Without hesitation. Right. Yeah. See you later. No. That's, that's, no. Well, yeah. no, because what about what about Ritual? What about Everblack? What about, what about Nightbringers? What about Hate? <laughs> all of that. Yeah. All of Battle all, Cross. All of, all of Parkway. Yeah. Or most of Parkway. Yeah. Uh, All of Fit for an Autopsy. Fit, yeah. Every last album. Their first album was 2011. Or yeah. Lots of Devil Driver. Yeah. <laughs> like I, and that's that's why I say that. And I'm like, nah, you can't really. But. But you can because it's that good. No. <laughs> yeah. When you go back and listen to Wrath, you're Dude, like, this is a fucking masterpiece. Yeah, it's mean. This is, this. I back when I first started getting into Lamb of God, out and everybody, everybody's kind of like, I remember a lot of people. No, no, no. I, I, I was like, this is, this is, because I loved Metallica, and I was like, this is the new Metallica. That's what this is to me. Yeah. And Wrath is fucking. It was. It was the second I heard. Uh, oh God, contractor. Yep. Like just that was the, one of the first singles. The opening single of it, and just wow! hearing, yeah, <laughs> just hearing like the rawness of it, man. Yeah, like that's so fast. That's one of my favorite parts of that album is how yeah. live it sounds and yes. just how like just the energy on it is, like grace. Yeah. Oh, dude. The guitar intro on yeah. grace. Chills. Oh. Yeah. And reclamation. Oh. Like <laughs> the fucking. The the recording or like of the waves that you hear in the beginning. Yeah. If you listen closely, right before the music starts playing, you can hear someone go, <coughs> like you can hear yeah. someone cough. <laughs> Just made myself cough. That's fucking. I can't remember if Rand, Randy they said it in an interview or a documentary about it or something. That was either uh, I can't remember if Randy said that was him or if it was Mark. That but that's it's one of them yeah. that like you can hear a slight. Yeah. Like someone cough on the fucking recording. Yeah. And uh and then the song starts. <laughs> like dude, that that whole song just like Grace. Yeah. Contractor Broken Hands. Fail. Broken Hands. <laughs> One of the, just the nastiest riffs that oh, band's ever written. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I need to look at this track list. Hold on a second. Because there's, even, a, there's it, a few others. What? Even Set to Fail. Like, Set to Fail had blast beats in it. That was yeah. the only... Well, up to that point. Hang on a sec. Fake Messiah. Oh, dude. Dead Seeds. That's the one. Choke Sermon. Oh, my God. Dude, hang on. Dead Seeds. What's going on? Uh, hang on. You got a nosebleed? Yeah. Ghost Punch in the face. <laughs> We got Ghost Punch and Aaron in the face on the podcast. Michigan weather is what this is. <laughs> that album probably would be because I, yeah, I remember when that came out. Yeah, like, uh, it would be hard for me to pick an, another individual album in the last 10 years that had as big of an impact. Put it that way, on me personally. I don't know Fuck. because because 
like dude ritual so high up in that list i i would have to double check i would actually have to double check what else came out in 09 i th- i i'd need to see i'd i'd need to remember what year like blood what when did blood drunk come out when did um last kind words come out i want to say i want to say it was 2008 i feel like they could've been 08 or 09 i can't remember uh you know what I mean? I would I would have to do some research. I because I've only looked. Why? So yeah, are we gonna do a fuck now? Nah. I don't think I we feel, should. Do. I feel like it's a better discussion than. Why don't we fucking a definitive list? I kind of honestly like it. It makes more sense to me to go from ten to ten. Like it makes more sense to me to wait till the end of this year to do it. Like I don't know why everybody did it nine to nine, just because it switched. But like 2009, I, well, I, isn't in the tens decade. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, I, yeah, cause I and that's I never really thought about it in that sense. Like, like 2010, 2010 to 2020. Yeah, it's what is the end the of decade. 2000 or the beginning of 2010 to the end of 2020 is the decade. Yeah, that's what it fucking should be. Why did everybody? <laughs> you want to pause that? Yeah, one second. All right, so I Googled. This is actually pretty interesting. I Googled heavy metal albums really released in 2009, and apparently Wikipedia just has lists of years in heavy metal music. And you can go to any year, and it gives you reformed bands, disbandments, events, books, films, album, and albums released by month. Like, it gives you a Damn. lot, like, even, like, movies and stuff. And, yeah, like, this, that year was fucking <laughs> Cattle Decapitation, Harvest Floor, fucking, I'm just going to, Evisceration Plague came out, uh, Wrath, that was in February that came out that year. Um, I remember it being cold, too. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. Um driving around listening to it all day long in the gray <laughs> it was gray outside yeah uh let's see here we're in april now i'm trying to find just i'm just trying i'm just kind of jumping on bands that who i actually know heaven and hell came out with the devil you know jungle rock came out with what horror awaits um hate breed came out with for the lions the cover album uh dahlia came out with the majesty dvd and deflare eight i think isn't that what I said earlier? Yeah. Yeah. Um, this, is, this is 2009. Yeah. Yeah. Ste- Steel Panther came out with Feel the Steel, <laughs> arguably the one album that could rival Wrath <laughs> for most important metal album in the history of heavy metal, not just the decade. <laughs> Goat Horror came out with Carving Out the Eyes of God. Spinal Tap came out with I- Back from the Dead. Dream Theater, there you go, came out with Black Clouds and Silver Linings. I oh, really like them. Yeah, that was a good album. Uh, Kill Switch Engage came out with Self Titled. Oh, that was that was their last one with Howard. Yeah. On it. I remember that one. Obituary came out with Darkest Day. Born of Osiris came out with A Higher Place. Job for a Cowboy came out with Ruination. Oh, that's Suffocation right, yeah. came out with Blood Oath. Oh. Devil Driver came out with Pray for Villains. Man. Fuck. All, all the same year. Yeah, this is all 2009, and we ha- we're just in August now. That was Max- all September. Behemoth Evangelion. Mastodon. Winds of Plague, The Great Stone War, Guar, Lust in Space, <laughs> Municipal Waste, Massive Aggressive, um, Chimera, Infection came out. Three Inches of Blood here. Th- Awaits Thy Doom. Here Awaits Thy Doom. Death Clock, Death Album 2. The, oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah, Dahlia, Deflery, Dream Theater, Wither EP. Dying Fetus, Descend into Depravity. Every Time I Die, New <sighs> Junk Aesthetic. Megadeth, Endgame. Ministry, The Last Dubber. Remix album, apparently. Shadows Fall, Retribution. They were good. That was a good one. I saw them a few times. Yeah, me too. Uh, children of Bodom, oh, Skeletons in the Closet. So them and 
Hatebreed came out with their cover album in the same year. Spies Icon Day of Mourning. Oh, dude, that album. That's up there, too. Like That's on my list. Arch Enemy <laughs> Root of All Evil, another cover album. Oh, yeah. Huh. Holy shit. This is the years of the cover album, apparently. Divine Heresy, Bringer of Plagues. That year. That was really solid. Oh. And Hatebreed came out with the Scythe titled. Oh, shit. Okay. Hell yeah. Oh, dude, that was a good one, too. Yeah. They had, so they came out with two in the same year. That's, oh, I forgot. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Man. Skeleton Witch Breathing the Fire. Oh, dude. Yeah. Dude. That's, <laughs> that's a good one. I didn't realize that one came out 2009. Yeah. As well. Double Brutal. Austrian Death Machine. Ooh. I remember them. I saw them. What? Yeah, dude. You saw them? I saw Austria. Are you serious? Yeah. <sighs> I saw Austrian Death Machine open for fucking uh, Dahlia. Oh, my God. Open for Bodum Ooh. at Clutch Cargos in Pontiac, Michigan. Jesus. And that was, that was the first time I ever saw Children of Bodum. Yeah. It was wow. like in 2008 or nine. I was on the Blood Drunk tour. I didn't even know they toured mm-hmm. Austrian Death Machine. Mm-hmm. Because that was, that was Tim's side project. Yep. Yeah. I didn't know who he was, yeah. but I knew Austrian Death Machine, but I didn't know that he was also the lead singer that of As Early Dying. I'm so jealous of that. <laughs> that was an insane show, dude. Oh, I bet. That show, there's footage of that show on one yeah. of the Dahlia DVDs. And that was on the Nocturnal tour as well, Cycle. Yes. Yep. I fucking <laughs> hate you. <laughs> that was probably such a good, man. Like It was insane. That's back when Trevor s- still sang shirtless. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't really do it anymore. Yeah, honestly, I pretty... Oh, Carcass. Oh, that's not... That's a live album. Converge put out Axe the Fall. It's a really sick album. Yeah, I pretty much listed every band that I know. Impressive year. Yeah. An impressive year in metal, for sure. Creed came out full circle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, Nile. Whom the Gods Detest, mm. one of their best albums that year. Still listen to it. I don't know, though. I if, if we were to go from 2009 to 19, I honestly, top album would probably be Wrath. Like, I really can't think of anything else that, to me, for me, was... Uh... And now, if I were to put together a list, you know, obviously, there'd be <sighs> there'd be a lot on it. There'd yeah. be Parkway, there'd be Thy Art, there'd be Devil Driver, there'd be Bodum. Mm, yeah, there'd be there'd be all kinds of stuff. But I don't know. I kind of like the idea of going to 210 to 220 better than 9 to 9. Yeah. It makes more sense to me. I don't know why. Yeah. I feel like it was more so like a like oh, I know the like it's been 10 years or whatever. Let's look back instead of like a legitimate yeah, I don't but, know. Oh, I mean, maybe we won't do a decade list then. It, At least now, it, maybe we'll wait till the end of the year. It'll take us a full year. If to we get, if we wait, out. honestly, if we wait till the end of this year, it makes more sense to be able to put things on it, like um, the new Slipknot album and the new Cal, because then it's been out for a full year and like time, real time to sit and like let simmer against all the other things that have come out since 2010 and everything. You know what I mean? That's true. That's my thought process because these are th- those are definitely two albums that might be on that album of the deck. Like yeah. Jesus Christ, <laughs> like yeah. we've these last like you were saying earlier, these last two years have been on another level. No, yeah. of insanity. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like we should. I don't know. I don't know if I want to do another list right now. That's the thing. <laughs> yeah. But I would do. I wouldn't mind doing something new. Yeah, wouldn't mind doing something different on the podcast. Something. I don't know. I don't know what yet though. I do. I do. Maybe think we could revisit the idea of the whole like, uh, of, like Michigan metal and where it started thing. Uh, yeah. I I did that popped back in my head the other day. It would be good now that the holidays are over. Maybe we could reschedule an episode with Alex and Seth and you. Yeah. That'd be cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
definitely now that things are kind of more open, but yeah. it'll be a little easier. Yeah. And you all got fucking things in the works. Yeah. To yeah, talk it'd be, about. It'd be cool to, yeah. If it, well, I don't know. We'll talk about that, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I got some ideas. <laughs> Hell yeah. Which more than likely will end up happening, but. Hell yeah. Oh my God. Fuck. I feel like there's something I was. Oh yeah. Do you. Okay. Because this is something I kind of talked about before. Do you ever get like obsessed with shit? <laughs> I mean, it, like in in what sense? Like, 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 like. Uh, there's different levels to that question. <laughs> Fair <laughs> I, enough. I can say yes, and I can also say no. Fair it enough. Depends on what you're asking about. But do you ever just like <laughs> rant, like, just randomly get obsessed, like, get with, like, really into something? Yeah. 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 But to the point where you like are totally willing to like lose sleep over it and just like stay up on the phone all night looking stuff up about it and researching things and all that. Um. Most of the time it's music stuff. Like most of the time it's like like that. I get sent down like a lot of like, you know, rabbit holes and stuff. Mostly, you know, mostly YouTube stuff. Um, Fair enough. That just kind of leads from one thing to the next. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's not really like an obsessive like need for one certain thing. It's just like something that happens. But there's not like a fucking, I don't know. There's not like a... a uh, okay, so one example is the fucking uh, the Jackson R three I have, that okay. Crimson Swirl guitar. Yeah. That fucking when I was looking for that, I was obsessed. Yeah. Like obsessed. Is there any like with drums? Like, do you ever? Is there ever like a, a piece of drum equipment? Yeah, star uh, symbols most of the time. Symbols. Yeah. Because but do, do you like stay up? <laughs> Late, like watching YouTube videos of people playing them, reviews. Sometimes, reading, yeah. Ca rev reading the reviews on the websites yeah. of people that bought it and everything. I, I I can't tell you how many times I've put together like shopping lists that I'll never <laughs> I'll never go in on. It's just like most of the time it's like wish list stuff. It's not so much like like orders. It's just like stuff I just like put in that I wanted. Yeah. But it's not really like I mean yeah I guess there is that like that like hunt. Kinda, you yeah. know what I mean? Like to yeah, a point, yeah. The hunt. Yeah. Maybe that's what it is. For for a while it was it was music, it was albums, you know. Yeah. That yeah. Kind of thing. Yep. 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 Um, yep. Do you have uh do you have like a? because you were talking to me earlier about like wanting to buy a lot of new albums this year, like physically oh, yeah. you want yeah. physical copies and stuff. Yeah. And you know what? If you want, I'll send you the link to those I yeah, I get those boxes on Amazon. Yeah. Those storage boxes. So you can actually just Amazon search CD storage box and you'll see those pop up. Yeah. And they're fucking cheap. They're not expensive at all and they're perfect. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, the problem is I don't have a whole lot of room like storage wise right now. Well, I mean, but at the same time, yeah. It's yeah, like, they don't yeah. take up space. Yeah. Um, they're just kind of in. Unfortunately, they're kind of. I mean, they're they're packed away. Um, but they're just kind of, you know, in boxes and stuff right now. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, there's not really a whole lot I can do about them yeah. right now. Like it's just kind of where it's at. But I mean, really, mine are just in boxes too. Yeah. But they just happen to be boxes for them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but uh, right. do you? Uh, how familiar are you with uh, Discogs? I haven't. I haven't used it as much. Okay. Um, a lot of times I just go to you know, like indie merch or you know anywhere else that. I mean, I I. Yeah, like if I can't find a physical copy that I want, like on Amazon, mm. then I go to the band's website. If I can't find it there, then I go to Discogs. Yeah. Or like band's website or indie merch. Yeah, rock. Yeah. Or, 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 yeah, no, just pretty much indie merch. Yeah. I've been, I've been a bit more adamant about like actually making sure that what I'm buying is going towards the band itself yes. and not some site. You yes. Know? So Absolutely. That's, that's important to me. Me too. Um, but sometimes it's not possible. Yeah. Like that's the reality of the situation. Yeah. The bands, 
a lot of bands don't sell their older CDs on their website still because yeah. it's not worth it for them. You know, that's that's what I do like about Discogs. Is yes, it's, there's different versions of stuff. There's yeah, you know, all kinds of different limited things that you can find. And yeah, so but I haven't. Admittedly, I haven't spent too much time on it just because I don't like. I haven't really dug too deep into trying to like really find. I think the last the last thing I remember struggling to find was uh, I think it was Agony from Flesh God. Mm-hmm. And this was years ago, and it was. I mean. It took me a lot, and and hate for the longest time, because every place I could find it, it was like sold out at, or just nobody had it. Wow, um, it's a lot of like weird, you know. Heavy, but I guess like I don't know, like what do you, what do you, what are you getting at? Like, what's your? You're just wondering, like you just hold on one second. <laughs> I'm just curious about something. I feel like son I, of hold on, hold on, yeah. hold the fuck on. Can I? Okay, okay. None are for sale. There's one of those. Oh, my God. You're going to shit your pants. <laughs> I just found this on Discogs. The fuck? You're on Discogs, Aaron. All three of them, huh? So in the, o- the only one you can buy a hard... There is a hard copy on Discogs right now available of Viscera for $20. <laughs> Let's see. Hold on. It'll tell me where it's being sold from. United States. Is that used copy? Great shape. <laughs> <laughs> Swear to God, dude, I can buy a hard copy of Viscera on Discogs right now. How fucking crazy is that? Does that fuck your head up? Does that not fuck your head up? I don't know how I feel about that. To be honest <laughs> with you. <laughs> like are you kidding me i cannot believe i just found that <laughs> that's how good discogs is though that's my point you can find anything on there dude yeah. sometimes it's like you know too expensive sometimes it's from a place you don't want to buy from this and that yeah but uh you can find it. Huh. <laughs> I don't know. Isn't that fucking insane? A little bit, yeah. I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that, but it is what it is, I guess. Like, <laughs> it's crazy the fact that it's on there, and like, I never even thought about it or like search for it. I never, I literally <laughs> never thought to search for it till just now. Yeah, I'm so happy I did. <laughs> That's crazy, dude. But were you like, were you getting towards something or like you just. I, because I do. No. I get obsessed with things. Really obsessed. Like, yeah. like when I got uh, my lizard, when yeah. I got the dragon. And, um, but in the past couple of weeks, you know, because I, uh, I kind of, I don't know, like, I can't, because I kind of thought, like, I, I knew I wasn't. I don't know. I've always just kind of, I don't know, I feel weird about it sometimes because I just learn like a ridiculous amount of information about something that other people don't <laughs> and I try to talk to them about it and I sound like a crazy person. <laughs> um, But uh, listening to the fucking Dean Del Rey podcast and stuff where, where he's talking to the, like he had an episode with like an old uh uh, somebody he used to work at the Harley dealerships with, so they're talking about motorcycles. He has had like guys talking about watches on there. He's really into watches, and uh, you know, like all kinds of stuff like that, stuff like those kind of like things. Mm. And uh, while those are not necessarily the things I'm into, I can relate, and I am into motorcycles. Yeah. But uh, I don't know, man. It's just it's been weird. It's been weird. It's 2020. I just turned 30. It's just to the point where it's like, you know, because there is there is a lot of things that I fucking have changed to try to be more. Um, up, uh, socially acceptable, maybe, or like approachable. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But yet, nothing has ever really come of any of it. And I've definitely gone far as far as I'm ever willing to go. And so now it's kind of like the rubber band bouncing back. And I don't know. I just, I just, I fucking got obsessed with fucking leather jackets. Yeah. And I used to wear one and I wore it for a long, long time. It was actually the best deal I ever got. I got it at a pawn shop in Flint. Mm. And it's like this heavy fucking leather biker jacket. And it's a little too short for me now. And so I've been obsessed with finding a replacement for it. Yeah. And I finally, and I did, I finally did, and I'm really happy. But it's also like I used to wear chains, you know? Yeah. Bought some chains up. Yeah. Hey. Bringing them back. <laughs> like That's I stopped cool. wearing them to yeah. fucking make other people more comfortable and now i'm like fuck it i still want to wear them and nobody seems any more comfortable or less comfortable (laughs) around me than when i wore them so it doesn't seem to have made any difference so fuck it yeah like it's just time to fucking shed all the skin you know you you experimented the 20s you experimented now it's time to buckle in. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's weird. I uh, actually went, because I, I have a, I'm pretty sure you've seen it. It's like a, it's kind of like a, it's like a vest sort of. It's like a, I don't know. It's not, it's not exactly like, you know, I don't know. Basically, I've, I've been kind of into the idea of like, like battle jacket kind of deal. Yeah. Like, like patches and stuff, like pins Dude, and stuff like that. Are you fucking kidding me? You no, you, I did see it, and I had always kind of wanted one, but was on the fence about it, and then I saw yours, and I was like, fuck it, now I was, <laughs> and I'm, I'm <laughs> going to get a leather one. Yeah. I actually, because I, because in my hunt for my leather jacket, I ended up finding the store in Lansing uh, called Hunt's Hog Shop. Mm. It's a motorcycle shop, and they have a lot of really good great leather in there yeah. and i found a fucking vest in there that i want oh, yeah. i'm gonna go back and get it when i get the money i almost bought a jacket in there day the day that i was in there but it was i still felt like it was just a little bit too short yeah so i didn't buy it but i'm definitely going back for that vest and i don't know if i, I yeah i want like a lost in the dark patch oh yeah oh dude yeah i because like we should make battle vests for, together dude that'd be awesome yeah yeah i'm down Cause I don't know where to start, and like the no. the the cool part about it is like for one, there's like I'm I'm inspired by seeing others, yeah. Like I'm like going to show because like that was that was something I found myself doing the last few shows is like looking around and just seeing like you know especially this time of year, you know different oh, yeah. like you know jackets and all that kind of stuff and just seeing like how everyone else does theirs like it's like it's kind of giving me ideas and stuff yeah. Like, I've always thought it was cool, but I never really knew how to go about it and stuff until I found, you know, I found one that I liked that I was, you know, I was like, all right. Yours well, is just, sick. Yeah. I it's enjoy perfect it. perfect for yeah. it. I like the, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of like the, you know, like the whitewash kind of like old school, like 80s no. look. Yeah. I think it's kind of tacky. I like leather. But I mean, and, and, or dark denim. Even, yeah, even like leather to me is just like, I don't know. I've never been, never been so, crazy about it. Yeah. Some people like it. So I, yeah. I love it. I've always loved leather. Yeah. I like the way it smells. <laughs> it does have a pretty distinct, yeah. It's like, to me, the, there's something about, like, the sound of it that's just like, you know, it just, like, it bothers me. See, I like the sound <laughs> like, of it. And every time I, like, when I think about it, I think Number of the Beast video. That's, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just so fucking metal. Or yeah. Ghost Rider. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Too, like, yeah. it's just so fucking. Yeah. Ah! I don't know. It's it's just never been my thing, no, I no. guess. <laughs> there's there's leather, there's you know, there's all different that's the awesome thing about metal is we can all have different styles. Yeah. And still be metal. So I don't know. Yeah, it's I think because I wanna I wanna try to figure out like how to do it. Like how to put it all together and stuff. Like that's that's something that's cause like I, I put those uh 'cause I found those like that like bag of that hate breed stuff from the meet and greet oh fuck yeah and i found a couple of those there i, I like i i have some a, good patches in that yeah 
I have, have those. a couple like the buttons or whatever that they gave us. Yeah. I threw on there. Um, I like the. I really like the like the enamel pins that they have out now. Yeah. I was looking at a few of them. Um, I don't know, just like cool stuff like that. I don't know, cause it's like there, there's something about one that's like put together and that's like finished. You know, you just kind of look well, at it and it's like you know. What I would say though is fucking. I mean, you know. It, it, you definitely you definitely look around and if you see something that's just unbelievably sick you go for it but i would say i would say that it's the kind of thing that you should that should be pieced together over time and i would like to purchase my patches at the show i've see i've thought about that you know what i'm saying yeah cuz then it then it's like a shirt yeah it's like a set you know yeah. it's kind of like a sentimental thing yes you look at it and be like oh yeah and that's, I feel like that's because, I don't know, there's not, there's not like rules to it, but I feel like a no. lot, a lot of people were saying like, that's one of the things that like is the coolest part of it is like going to all these shows and like, you know, this just, is, yeah, this, this is instead of wearing shirts every day, this is one thing that shows you all the shows it's, I've been to. Yeah. Which, oh my God. I've literally never thought about that yeah. like that until just now. <laughs> yeah. Which is why like, yeah, cause kind of the same thing. I was like, well, how do you, you know. Like what? What's the point other than just have you know, having all this stuff? Then I started thinking like it's it's uh, it's almost like a like a like a passport sort of you know. Yeah. Go like show or whatever you you know. There's buy your stamp. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Fuck, dude. This is awesome. I've never thought about it like that. Yeah, I like this idea. Yeah. Plus, I mean, there's just something cool about you know, and I think I think what really got my my mind kind of going with it was uh, seeing Trevor's mm-hmm. the first time, and being you know, and just kind of like looking at it and stuff, and like seeing all these like you know gnarly looking like death metal logos and stuff, and I'm like, man, that's sick. Like, <laughs> that's there's something really cool about that. That's you know, and I was like, man, like that's been a thing forever, and all it is is just you know, dude, we should start making them like oh. <gasps> In 2020, start them at the start of the decade. Yeah. And then but before the end of the decade, we should vow to go to Vakken and get a Vakken patch. Yeah. All right. Dude, because uh, me and Preston, we started that when we were on one of the very early episodes of this podcast. We were like, next five to ten years or something like oh, that. Yeah. Like, we have to go. Yeah. It's time. It's time. We have to go to Vakken. Like when when is that? It's in the summer. Yeah. Every year. It's like in like June or July, yeah. August, somewhere in there. But the thing is, is it like sells out a year in advance. <laughs> That's so true, we pretty yeah. much have to just pick a year and when those that year's tickets go on sale, we buy them and that's that. Mm. We, we're going. So the three of us need to just sit down and pick a year. Yeah. I mean, next year, I'd like. To I don't go. know if I can pull it off. Well, well, yeah, we'll talk about it. Yeah, <laughs> that's real quick. You can't just be like, "All right, boom, here you go." Yeah. Like, and honestly, those tickets might already be sold out. <laughs> yeah, that's true. To be honest, because I know this year, this year's already sold out. But like, they, dude, you want to know what's crazy? I met a fucking German guy at a party. And I talked to him about Vakken. <laughs> and he was like, yeah. And he, like, knew about it and everything. He even knew it to the point where he knew that this year they fucking, like, purchased another big piece of land. So now it's, like, even bigger than ever. Damn. Fit more people than ever. <laughs> like. That's insane. Yeah. So. To think of that, like, twice the size as it was. Yeah. And it's already, like, I mean, just from what I've seen, it already looks gigantic. Like. Oh, my God. <laughs> In comparison to what we have oh here, God. that's like that's yeah. like kid stuff, man. Like mm-hmm. <laughs> insane. Yeah. That would be an epic patch though. That's for goddamn sure. Fucking. Either, either that or download. Both. Yeah. Fuck it. <laughs> Let's go to both in one year. We're we'll staying in Europe the whole summer. I mean, I don't hate it. <laughs> that would be insane. Open a food truck. Go to Blood Fest too. <clears throat> I think that's in France. 
blood, blood Christmas. or yeah. and a grass pop. Yeah, that's yeah, in, that's for too. Yeah, go to hit them all. <sighs> Summer breeze. <laughs> that's, Festival. Yeah, I don't know where that is. I think that's in Europe somewhere. I want to. S- I say Germany, but I don't think that's right. Mm. God, Maybe that's France too. Summer Sonic. Yeah. That'd be insane. That would be insane. Yeah. We just spent a summer hitting every fucking <laughs> European festival. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my god. It's down because that would be like everything, everything. Yeah. Like every form of metal. Like cause download we might see something like Guns N' Roses, you know what I mean? Like Yeah. But at Vakken, we might see something like Judas Priest. And then at fucking Bloodfest, we might see something like Dimu. Yeah. Or Rammstein. Or what, yeah. What's, yeah. That's one of the reasons I've always wanted to go is like, you know, you get like exclusive bands that yeah. only do the festival stuff. Yeah. You know? Oh, man. That'd be so awesome. So fucking crazy. Yeah. Ah. I wanna, I wanna see a power metal show in Europe, at so least bad. once in my life, man. So bad. I wanna see a Monomarth in Europe. Yep. yep. <laughs> Basically, yep. is what I'm saying. Yep. A Monomarth and <laughs> Alestorm. Dude, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Steel Panther. I don't know if I would remember that night. <laughs> nope. <laughs> like you'd have to film everything. Yeah. Because <laughs> otherwise, it's getting forgotten. Yeah. Because Europeans know how to fucking drink. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> They know you gotta fucking. I I recommend doing l- liver workout regimens <laughs> prior to going <laughs> to prepare yourself for the chaos. You don't want to go in raw. I will tell you that you want to go in with some tolerance. Yeah, that's real. Oh man, that would be insane. Especially in Germany, like just fucking. Yeah. Fucking man, fucking. <laughs> Wow. All right. You want to wrap this up? Yeah, sure. We're kind of trailing off. Yeah. I don't know what else to talk about. I can't think. It's kind of hit everything. Everything I can think of, at least. Yeah. I do kind of feel like there's one more thing that I'm just totally forgetting about. But Probably. I know mm-hmm. there's something. That's, there's always something, yeah. isn't there? <laughs> like pretty much constantly. Yeah. Um, do you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. We'll wrap this up. Um, all right. Yeah. Thank you all very much for listening to, I don't even know what the fuck episode this is. Hundred in the tens, 13, uh, let me see. 12, 13, 14, somewhere in there. hundred, twelve, thirteen, forty. 13, 14. Fucking 2020, baby. <laughs> 2020 hitting it. Oh, uh, this is 113. <gasps> Lucky number 13. Yes. Uh, hell yeah. Wow. That's crazy. 113 episodes. Jesus fuck. Yeah. And that doesn't include any of the video stuff either. So it's probably more like 150. Fuck. Point, if you think about it. How many hours have we just. <laughs> I don't probably, think about it. probably a full day, if I had to guess. Oh, more than that, bro. <laughs> oh, way more than that, <laughs> for sure. Well, Clint's was eight hours, so that's a day. Yeah. The day, well, half a day. Yeah. And we've done that. It been a couple four hours. Yep. Three hours. This one right here is two. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah. It's amazing. It's amazing. Here. Let's close. Give me a little, just a shot's worth, so oh. we can close this on a cheers. I would. Uh, there's a there's a fly in that one. <laughs> it's a tiny like bug. It's in there. Yeah. Oh, I see it. There, it's gone. Oh, cool. Right. Whiskey fucking kills any of the bacteria, bro. You're good. Yeah, I, don't, I know. I was I just kept looking at it, like how do I get that out of there? I don't want to waste it. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck it with the finger. All right. Cheers. Thank you all for yes. listening. Raise your horns. Bang your fucking heads. Let's dominate 2020. And uh, we'll be back. We'll be back again very soon with more episodes and uh, cattle decapitation review. 
coming hopefully soon. We're working on it. Yeah. It's a complex album. It's, yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's taking me some time. But it's coming. Here we go. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers motherfucker. Brother. Love you all to death. Good night. What? Oh, man. Wow, we did. We covered a lot.